the dogs are stir crazy. Scott. It only takes someone to walk past the yard to trigger them. All the dogs go wild, but Debbie reserves discipline for the worst offender, Skye. Skye. She's fitted with a shock collar to control her. Now you're pressing the tone on her, so she realizes that if she goes any further, she's going to get shot. Yeah. They've been using a shock collar on Skye for six months, yet Skye's still barking. She's still biting. Well, yeah, wake up and smell the coffee, of course. They're not identifying the reasons why Skye is exhibiting aggressive behaviors. They're just controlling what irritates them, and in a very abusive way. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, but you didn't really have any choice in the matter, did you? No. <laughs> I felt that we needed the shock collar for our safety as well as the dog's safety, because they're so big and strong. They're extremely hard to control. The problems you have here are very serious. But I want you to know that if you have the right attitude, there are a lot of things that I can do for you here. But you have to be committed, and you have to work alongside me. Are you ready to do that? We're ready. We're ready. Very ready. OK. Victoria's first move is to get rid of all inhumane dog control devices. Let's take a look at this. Looks like medieval torture. You've got a highly anxious dog here that barks a lot because that's part of her instinct, and yet you're telling her off for it. Each time she barks, bang, you're zapping her. That's why this is going in the trash. Sky is suffering with so much anxiety. The veins in her muzzle pop out. Her eyes are always staring. The shock collar isn't the only restraining device Debbie uses. Now I want to talk a little bit about prong collars. There's an argument, well, these collars are fine if you use them properly. Well, I don't believe they're fine whether they're used properly or not. People say, well, put the prong collar around your arm and then give it a squeeze and you'll feel it's not that bad. How about trying it on your neck? Yeah. Neck is a very sensitive area on a dog. It's a very sensitive area on a human. And see those marks on your neck? I can feel them, too. Mm-hmm. I don't want it around my dog's neck anymore. They saw for the first time, felt for the first time, what their dogs go through each time on a walk, and it was not pleasant. And what happens is the trachea, over time, can collapse or become bent, and it can cause all sorts of breathing problems heart problems, and in some cases, death. So these are going to join the shock collar, and we're going to throw them in the trash. I know one of the major problems is when Skye and the rest of the dogs fly at the fence. There are a number of ways we're going to prevent this. This whistle is now going to replace the shock collar. We're going to use positive training to start Skye on the road to rehabilitation. OK. I'm just going to charge it up. For the recall, I'm using a hunting whistle. Sky's a hunting dog. And I blew the whistle a number of times to charge it up. Blowing the whistle, giving a treat. Blowing the whistle, giving a treat. So eventually, Sky began to see the whistle as the precursor of a treat. There's a person walking with the dog right now. <laughs> Good girl! All right, Debbie, I just want you to blow the whistle a few times, do the treat afterwards. OK. Reward her immediately, you blow the whistle. Good girl. That's it. Stay. Stay. I'm seeing great response from Sky right away. It'll be a long process, but we're just thrilled that there is hope. Stay. I think Todd and Debbie are responding very well and enjoying seeing the results, but you've got to work at it. Go, go, now. Good. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. I think because she's earning rewards in the form of food and of praise, she's going to start to love this training, love coming back when the whistle is blown. We're now at the next stage. Now I want to see what she's like with a person and a dog. Are you ready? We're ready. OK. 
As the passers-by approach, the lure of another dog is too big. But Victoria has a response. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. What a good girl. She's doing great. Good girl. The next time the dog walks past, Oh, what a good girl. Sky good remains dog. calm. Good girl, good girl. Very good. Sky's a clever girl. She's a good girl dog, good girl. Good girl. Sky. Now blow your whistle now. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. She did absolutely brilliantly. How do you feel about it that. was exciting to watch Victoria. It really was. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. What a great girl she is. I am so thrilled with the progress that we've made so far, and that is a huge, huge thing. We're showing her that there is another way. Right. You know, and, and it's tough. This is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. It is very, very tough to do this. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.